Right, yesterday I sharpened all my chisels uh, except for my mortising chisels uh, and they are extremely sharp and I'm real happy with the way they turned out. I reworked them which means I I took them I took the edge uh, and and basically ground it back uh, with my Tormek and got a nice fresh uh, edge of metal and then put a micro bevel on it uh, with my stones and I can I can now use uh, and resharpen this for many sharpenings before I have to do this process again but um, the one thing that I uh, I'm, I wasn't real I, I, I did a video but I wasn't real happy with the way that that turned out so I'm going to take another chisel that I have here and uh, rework it and show you what I do from start to finish and you can see this chisel is way out of square if you look at that uh, compared to the black line running across the top there Uh, it's a probably a good uh, probably a good sixteenth out of square. So we've got a lot of work to do on this one. And the first thing I do with them is I kind of look at them. I've got the back pretty well flat, uh, flat enough for I guess this type of chisel. But um, any rust or any of this kind of stuff, I want to get rid of that glue residue, anything like that. So let me show you how I do that. Okay, the first thing I want to do is look at it and see if any of this is like residue glue, which it feels like it is. In that case, I'll take one of the other chisels and I'll just run it along the surface to get those big chunks off, if there are chunks. There we go. And then the other thing I'll do is take a, one of these sanding blocks to get rid of some of that surface rust. And just work that over. You can also use some steel wool if you have it. You know, if you don't have any of this sanding block. I like this, I like this better. It's a little more aggressive. All right, here's the second part of the operation. I loaded the chisel in my uh, tool holder, and then um, I've just I've noticed that this chisel is getting very short, and um, this part of the jig is very close to the wheel, so it's it's getting near the end of its life. But I still got some some uh, material left, so I'm going to grind this. I'll show you how that. Just moving it back and forth across the stone, using the whole width of that stone. All right, that took me the better part of uh, Rod Stewart's song, Do You Think I'm Sexy? <laughs> so, uh, not, not too bad, but it, yeah, you can see it's much better. It's squared up. And now then the next thing I do is I'll take it out of this jig holder here. And a uh, little simple green on this 15,000. Lay the back down on the edge, bring it up, and take that wire edge off the back. You can see that line right there. That's that took it off in a, very quickly. So now I'll take a few strokes, even though the back is is you know. For this chisel, it's relatively flat. I'll make a few strokes this way, and then a few strokes at the uh, opposite angle, kind of create a cross hatch, and then straight parallel with that edge.
Okay, got my 5,000 grit stone here. Uh, I checked my angle with before I uh, set this up uh, to make sure I'm, I'm slightly steeper than 25 because I want to be on this edge. So I'm just going to take a couple of quick strokes here and see where I'm at. And I'm out there on that bevel, which is good. So I'll continue to do this. All right, now I'll take it over and take, I'm gonna have to leave it in this jig, and I'll tell you why in a minute, but I'm gonna take it over and take a photo of it before I put it on the 16,000. And so now without changing anything, uh, with the with the tool in the jig here, I'm just going to put my 16,000 in here. Give it a little water, and the fact that it's a bit thinner than this means that this will create a, a, just a real slight micro bevel on there. And by the time I get done grinding, you'll you'll never even see it probably, but it gets it. It's right on the edge right now. And just some nice smooth strokes here using the whole stone just real light pressure that should do it All right, I'm going to take it out of the jig, bring the back down to the stone like I did before, tilt it up, and take a few strokes on this back to get rid of any wire edge. That should do that. All right, let's get another picture here. That thing is amazingly sharp. Now in reality, it probably took me about 10 minutes to, to get this edge on this chisel. You see the back there. And the other thing is, it's relatively square. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but it's <laughs> compared to what it was, it is much better. Okay, I've got a rag here that I that I've got uh, just a little bit of WD-40 on it, and I'll take that and wipe down all the steel on this uh, chisel just to give it a light oil coat. And then, uh, then I'll put it away. I'll hit it with a dry one here too. There you go. That one's ready for action again. Thanks for watching.